गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ चारू जैन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट किर्च ऑफ वोल्टेज लो ओके सो बेसिकली किर्च ऑफ इज़ अ साइंटिस्ट नेम एंड गस्ट ऑफ किर्च ऑफ इज इट्स फुल नेम ओके एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ हिज नेम ही गेव टू लॉस वन इज बेस्ड ऑन करंट दैट इज किर्च ऑफ करंट लो एंड अनदर वन इज बेस्ड ऑन वोल्टेज दैट इज बेस्ड दैट इज नोन एज किर्च ऑफ वोल्टेज लो ओके एंड किच ऑफ वोल्टेज लो इज ऑल्सो नोन एज किच ऑफ सेकेंड लो सो डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज विद दैम सो वट डज किच ऑफ लो स्टेट्स दैट इट स्टेट्स दैट इट इन अ क्लोज सर्किट और अ मेश एलजेब्रिक सम ऑफ ऑल द ई एम एफ प्लस एलजेब्रिक सम ऑफ ऑल वोल्टेज ड्रॉप मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग द स्टेटमेंट आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन यू फर्स्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल ओके आई एम टेकिंग अ सिंपल सर्किट in this so that you would get easily understood suppose this is a circuit having two voltage source this one is the voltage source or you can say it also emf okay its value is suppose 10 volt 20 volt 3 ohm 4 ohm and 5 ohm before explaining this you for, you should know about the two terms first one is mesh and another one is loop okay so do you have any idea about what is mesh and what is loop i am naming this a b c d e f okay mesh is a closed path which is which cannot be further divided mesh is a closed path which cannot be further divided like you can say uh it is a closed path which cannot be further divided into smaller section like i am giving you one example suppose this is your house okay this is your house and in your house you are having how many rooms two rooms right in your house you are having how many rooms two rooms so in two rooms how many people can live only two people right so similarly if there are two meshes in this we can name these two meshes one mesh is a b c d this one okay and another mesh is b e c f this one so if there are two meshes then we must have two variable only okay two variable means one is i1 and another one is i2 there is no space of i3 as i told you this is a house and in your house we are having two rooms in two rooms we can live two people only can live okay so you can relate this thing to the mesh in two meshes we are having two variable and in two variable means we can take i1 and i2 we can't take i3 okay and 90% of students will get confused in this thing only that how many variables we need to take so we should take variables according to the mesh now next term is loop loop is just a closed path closed path okay it can be smaller closed path or it can be a big closed path so in this case a b c d is a loop because it is a closed path similarly b e f c it is a loop because it is a closed path similarly we can take big one also a b e f c d so this is also loop we need to consider meshes only we don't need to consider loop for solving okay now we are having two variables now we got to know about it suppose from 10 volt current i1 is flowing we don't know how much current is flowing we are consider i we are considering i1 is flowing okay now this is a node this is a node if you have you can resemble node is just like a path okay where more than two paths are connected uh, i think you have heard about the word choraha right like choraha from there paths splits right so for this this is a choraha and you can say this is a node node is a point where more than two branches are connected so in this how many branches are connected one two three okay so this is a node and from the node always current splits from the node always current splits so suppose i1 is flowing here and from the node current splits so we are assuming that i2 is the current flowing from here clear so uh, i can uh, tell you this if you don't have see the video of kcl you can see the video of kcl also in this then you will get easily understood this point 
Now suppose I1 is the current flowing through A to B and I2 is the current from B to C. Then we need to calculate according to pitch of current law that from B to A which how much current is flowing. We can conclude that I1 is the incoming current because it is entering in a node right. I1 is entering in a node it is the incoming current and I told you incoming current is always denoted by the sign positive and I2 is the outgoing current because it is leaving the node because it is leaving the node so i2 is the outgoing current and outgoing current is denoted by the term negative so how much current is flowing from b to a that is i1 minus i2 i am writing down this incoming current is always denoted by the term positive and outgoing current is always denoted by the term negative okay so in this I1 minus I2 is the current flowing from B to A. As I told you there are how many mesh? Two meshes are there. So we can take up to two variable. Right? Two rooms, two mesh, two variable. I1 and I2. We can't take I3. 90% of the student will get confused in this. So you don't. I am marking. I am writing down the steps of KVL. Step number 1. Step number 1 of KVL is mark current direction okay that we already marked that we have marked the current direction in each and each and every branch okay if you will get understood about the kvl then you won't face any problem in theorem question or in any dc circuit questions so try to understood easily now our first step is completed what was the first step that mark current in each and every branch we have marked current in each and every branch that i1 is the current flowing from a to b i2 is the current flowing from b to c and i1 minus i2 is the current flowing from b to e okay now move to our second step what is the step number two step number two is the mark sign convention okay you need to mark sign convention as you know that current always flows from higher potential to lower potential right current always resembles the flow of water water always flow, flows from higher potential to lower potential like from high to low similarly current always flows from higher potential to lower potential like suppose current is moving from a to b so higher potential will marked as positive and lower potential will marked as negative okay current is leaving from a and entering into a b point so the current is leaving from a that is marked as positive sign and current is leaving to b point that is marked as negative sign so we need to mark sign convention at each and every uh, source or you can say element so battery sign will remain same big one is positive small one is negative okay again the battery sign will remain same irrespective of the direction of current big one positive and small one is negative now your current is moving from a to b right your current is moving from a to b you will mark positive here negative here your current is moving from b to c you will mark positive here and negative here your current is moving from b to e so we you will mark positive here and negative here okay then i have marked the sign convention across each and every element now our step number two is also completed move to step number three what is step number three we need to apply kvl in each mesh suppose we are taking suppose mesh one okay we need to apply kvl in mesh one what does kvl say let's see suppose you are standing at a position okay take it as a reference uh, this is your suppose home okay just imagine this is your home and you are moving from a to b d to c c to d and d to back to a okay you are going from home to college college to gym gym to shopping and again obviously you need to back to home only so your starting point is at a and you need to end it to, to the a only and in your path uh, whatever second sign comes in your uh, in your path that you will take okay like you are moving from a to b what is the second sign which is coming in your path negative right you are moving from b to c what is the second sign which is coming in your path that is negative c to d nothing is there leave that again you are moving d to a right so what is the second sign which is coming in your path negative to positive means 
positive. Clear? So in this case, what would be the statement of KVL? Mm. What would be the equation for the KVL? That is, I'm writing down here. I'm starting from A position, okay, and ending to A also, ending to A only. So you, we are moving from A to B. Sign, second sign, that is negative. How much is the resistance across A and B? That is 3. How much is the current flowing from A to B? That is 3 pi 1, okay. Now you are moving from B to C. How much is the current flowing from B to C? How much is the resistance from uh, b to c that is 4 sin is as i told you second minus 4 and current is how much i2 right c to d there is nothing leave that now you are moving from d to a you are moving from d to a what will be the second sign which is coming in your path that is 10 so it would be plus 10 is equal to 0 this is your equation first okay this is your equation first clear this thing this is the equation which you have applied in mesh 1 similarly we will apply kvl in mesh 2 okay now again we are at b position we are moving from b to e e to f f to c and then back to c to b okay now again b to e but what is the second sign which is coming in your path just think that not current is moving just think that that you are moving along this path like you are moving from b to e home to college college to gym gym to sports then back to home okay and you have to pick the second sign which is coming in your path only just you have to do this okay instead of current just think that you are moving right so b to e what is the second sign and comes in your path again negative so i'm writing down minus five how much is the current flowing from b to e that is i1 minus i2 okay so it would be i1 minus i2 again you are moving from e to f what is the second sign comes in your path that is minus 20 right then f to c nothing is there right now you are moving from c to b correct from c to b which is the second sign which is uh, which is the second sign which is coming in your path that is positive so it would be like plus 4 and how much is the current flowing i2 is equal to 0 so this is your equation second now you can solve these two equation and you will get the value of i1 and i2 right so this you have applied Kirchhoff voltage rule now i am moving back to the statement but as it Kirchhoff law states that that in a closed circuit or a mesh we have applied this kvl in a closed circuit only right or mesh uh, algebraic sum of all the emf emf means the battery okay emf means the battery which we have taken like 10 volt 20 volt we have taken the algebraic sum algebraic sum why because some sign is positive and some sign is negative we have taken algebraic sum of all the emf right plus algebraic sum of all the voltage drop voltage drop is always across resistance like suppose i1 current is flowing here across 5 ohm so what will be the voltage drop here that is 5 into i1 okay positive to negative we are moving from positive to negative so it would be negative 5 i1 that's why we are saying that voltage drop means decrease in voltage like i am giving you an example you are using bulb in your house right so you are giving some amount of voltage to your bulb so uh, that bulb is consuming that voltage so in that case voltage will drop so voltage drop will always across the resistor element okay resistor also inductor also capacitor also but uh, meanwhile in your syllabus there is a resistor so you can say that voltage drop will be across the resistor only not through the emf that's why he is saying that algebraic sum of all the voltage drops so according to it voltage drop is how much like we have taken this 3 i1 minus 3 i1 then we have taken 4 i2 because this is the resistance and voltage drop is across resistance that is minus 4 i2 and we have taken algebraic sum algebraic sum means some sign is positive and some sign is negative and their sum is equal to zero and their sum is equal to zero okay i hope you would understood this thing 
ओके जस्ट जस्ट ओनली थिंक दैट यू आर मूविंग नॉट करंट इज मूविंग एंड यू हैव टू टेक सेकेंड साइन ओनली देन योर इक्वेशन वुड बी कंप्लीटेड एंड यू विल गेट द किच ऑफ वोल्टेज लो ओके आई होप इट वुड बी क्लियर टू यू एंड फॉर एनी डाउट्स यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी एंड माई कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर इज दिस वन एंड माई ई मेल आई डी इज दिस वन ओके थैंक यू